What's up, y'all? It's Nicole Alicia, and I'm back with episode four for my series, Cooking Ain't Hard, period. And y'all already know I got the simplest meal for you, boneless mesquite pork loin chops and some nor chicken rice. You can't beat that. So you need those two items, some butter and some oil to make this happen. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I mean, leave it in the comments below if you enjoyed it. Um, for this, with the pork chops, we definitely want to add some butter. So these chops, y'all, let's talk about them. Tell me why they were only $5. $4.99 at Food Lion, already marinated. All I had to do was throw it in the freezer and throw it in my pan. Listen to that sizzle. Wow. And I mean, not to mention how good it smelled. I was really shocked to see this um, in Food Lion. And it comes like with a six pack, I think. All you have to do is really let it cook for two to three, two to five minutes, really, on um, both sides, just to make sure there's no pink. Pro tip number one use your back burners, man. Pro tip number seven, really. Um, use your back burners when you're frying stuff. That way you won't get popped. Let's do, in the meantime, let's do this. In the meantime, while we're cooking those ribs, let's go ahead and check on that rice. And y'all get popping with no rice. What's wrong with you, man? That rice is only like a dollar. And it's so simple to make. Tastes so good. And the instructions are on the back. You see it here. Two cups of water, one tablespoon of butter. Get that thing boiling. Throw that rice in there and put that timer on. Seven smoking minutes. You really can't beat it. And I mean, y'all, it tastes good. Like, I cannot make this up. So, two to five minutes later, let's go ahead and flip them. If you'll notice, they're doing that back bend, girl. It's like hopping in a shower and the water too hot. You like, hold up, get up off my back region. That's literally what happens to the pork chops once they're starting to cook a little bit. We're definitely trying to be like me where you can't get the pork chop off the fork um, and you're trying to play it off the knife rather. And if you see it's doing a back bend like that, just take your knife and cut it so it can um, pull apart, man. So it can be flat. We want to cook all of it. And right here, I'm just checking for that doneness, making sure I don't see any pinkness, no red coming out. I mean, it's simple, guys, but you got to kind of use common sense there to make sure it's not bleeding. We want cooked food. No pink. So let's check on this rice. We're probably about a minute or two in at this point. Literally a minute, y'all. I'm so impatient. Just to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom, you know? And for you in a comment who's going to say, you know, you should have cleaned your pants. Suck my ass. Okay, because that's where all the flavor is. That's why your food's bland, man. And boom, like clockwork, seven minutes, rice is done. Second batch of pork chops are finally coming out. And use a real fork and you might could pick it up a little bit better than me. But we ain't going to talk about that. Voila, we get to add that last pork chop to our little pile here of pork chops. And I'm saying, y'all, it's smelling good. And right there, if you'll see, I put a little cut on there. Um, that's another way I check for doneness. No pink. So let's plate this bad boy. And I got two methods for you guys. Y'all can see the difference in variations. But I'm telling y'all, this is good. Really, 10-minute meal. Um, you really can't beat it, guys. $5 for the chopped, dollar for the rice. Thank you guys for supporting me, man. And stay tuned for that red velvet recipe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.